on the money. You got some must have dropped. You got 220? Yeah. 220 on the nose. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> ready to eat, man. Ready to eat. Not like I'm not eating a lot right now, but I am. Yeah, I mean, I'm eating. I'm in a good amount of food right now. Usually when I'm flat, I'm eating more shit food and I'm not flat and stuff. Yeah. So we're keeping, it's just all clean food, but it's it's just it's a good amount. I mean, I'm still, still, even my protein is pretty high. Usually at this point, I'm eating like four ounces, but my carbs are through the roof, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel? Dehydrated a bit, but I'm, I feel like I'm behind. Moving around a little bit. Yeah, just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Just trying to get a uh, get some blood flow going, get a little pump. Just try to uh, really just keep the muscle full before Saturday. You know, things are not gonna flatten out too much, but with cutting water back, I'm starting to fill out with carbs and food, but water is getting cut back. You don't want to get rid of all your water, all of it. So you have some water intracellular, so and that's what keeps you full. So whenever you're pumping up and you have some glycogen and water, you're, the muscles expand, they look bigger. When you're flat, you're not actually smaller. The water's out of the muscle, so it kind of deflates like a, like a balloon, like, like a water balloon would, would deflate. Um, and it looks smaller. So there's a fine line between staying full, which is the, the muscle nice and pumped up like a full balloon, and staying dry, where the water is inside the muscle instead of outside. Whenever there's water on the outside of the muscle, between the skin and the muscle, um, it creates um, a look of like softness. It's not quite as hard. You can't see the lines, it's not as detailed. But when you start pulling water, man, it's, it is so much more tiring than pulling carbs. As you know, your body's you know right around 70%, 75% water. It's not 75% carbs. And you start pulling the, that water out, even a little bit. I read, I, I remember reading some sort of statistic couple years back, don't quote me on exactly what it was. It was something like, if you're something like 10 to 15% dehydrated, your strength's cut down by like 45 to 55%. Again, don't, don't, uh, don't quote me on those numbers, but it's something crazy. So basically, just any little bit of dehydration and your strength is gonna be zapped. So it's not just strength, but it's also recovery, your pump, everything, you know? So even though I'm having, I'm having more food, I feel you know a lot a lot weaker than I was um, previously, but just the name of the game. It's only the last couple couple of days, and I'm not really lifting heavy anyway, or I'm not lifting heavy anyway. So I, that really doesn't bother me. I'm just concerned with getting a little pump, staying full until the show. So, so Blake is two days out from the Better Bites Classic. Um, he's weighing right at the top of that heavy waist map, right 224ish. So uh, great shape, body fat's off, super lean. Uh, believe it or not, he's still a little flat compared to uh, what I've seen him. So. We're going to flame up a little bit more. And the time he uh, drops his water, man, he should be right at the top of the class. And uh, it's going to be hard to beat. So, uh, in my opinion, I think he's good enough to be pro this year. So, I think the plan is due to nationals, end of the year, and uh, coming as a heavyweight and be the newest pro. Many, many people going pro, they, they don't have that to, to start with, you know. Uh, so, you definitely done a hell of a job. Uh, yeah. So, it's going to be exciting to see. You know, great future. I was five seven, like two eighteen when I went back in the day. Yeah. You're right there. So from what I saw this year for nationals, man, we will be in the fight. So, so no. It's be a good national show this year too. Now everyone's getting used to it being in Dallas. Coming in at the Better Buys Classic 2024. April 6th, manana. We're set up at check-ins here with Gas Better Bodies. Right now, we're checking in all the athletes. We're getting to make sure they have their MPC card for 2024. It's a new year, so a lot of athletes haven't renewed yet. If they haven't, now it's the time to. As we can see right here, athletes are getting checked in. So depending on what class you do, obviously bodybuilding, open bodybuilding, you get weight in. If you're in classic bodybuilding, there's a height and a weight restriction. So depending on how tall you are, there's restriction on how much you can weigh. So same thing with some of the other classes, it's about height. Um, some of the classes are about weight. So it depends on, you know, if you're, if you're doing bikini, it's height. If you're doing bodybuilding, it's weight. Classics, height and weight, et cetera, et cetera. So depending on what class you are, depends on what, you know, how much you're tall and how much you weigh, depends on what class you're going to, what division. Um, in addition to that, we have Jiu-Jitsu tournament tomorrow. 
And also we have a powerlifting competition. So more than just bodybuilding, fitness figure and bikini going on here. So it's, uh, we have an expo here, small expo, a lot of vendors here. And of course, Fast Better Bodies is here, selling all kinds of good gear and swag. So we have all divisions, all classes at this show. And it's a national qualifier. So what that means, if you've never competed before, or if you've competed before, either or, you go in the show. So we have true novice for our first time competitors, which means they've never stepped on a stage before. So you can do true, true novice one time and that's your very first show. And you can also cross over and do other divisions also. And if you're doing, for instance, if you're doing classy bodybuilding, you can do open bodybuilding, you can do men's physique too. You know, and I encourage all new competitors to do that to find out which division their physique fits best in and which uh, division they like, like the most too. And how it based on how they want to look too. So I encourage everybody to do all the divisions at the beginning and figure out where they fit and what they want to do. And if you win this, this show, then you're qualified for the nationals. And um, which means you can go to the USA championships, the team universe, the nationals, the North American, at any of those shows, if you win, you get a pro card. Now, easier said than done. You know, most people, it took me several years to, to turn pro. It took, you know, even greats like Ronnie Coleman several tries before they turn pro. But uh, this is where it starts, shows like this. The more muscle, the darker you need to be. Yeah. So, Blake is white as fuck, so you gotta get dark. Yeah, he's getting some extra loving right now. Yeah. And Branch called in and said, hey, he needs the Branch treatment. He's a, uh, he's see-through. It's funny, I, I like the I put on shirt. water duty. Water duty? Water duty. You're holding water. You're not supposed to be holding water at a bodybuilding contest. You're supposed to drink four gallons of water a day. It's a bodybuilding rule. <laughs> four. It's like, yeah, by the end, there's going to be over a million people. That's the only thing. We're with Better Bodies. What's up? Yeah, we're good. Branch just took a look at me. Said, don't change shit. Like, bring that look to the stage and you're gonna be just fine. No you know, shit. Branch, in other words, he said that. But pretty much to sum it up was, you should do well. Well, the peak should already be done, right? Now you should just try to maintain that. If you're at the point now where you're trying to fill out, you're trying to dry out, you're way behind. If you need to fill out a little bit, it's okay. By using some real simple stuff, like simple sugars and some quick carbs, um, like fruit and stuff like that, some real fast digesting stuff, which is kind of where I'm at, but I'm, I'm really just holding where I'm at, right? I'm not trying to push carbs. Or like I'll have a rice cake, a little bit of jelly every 30 minutes just to make sure that I stay full. Um, but all the filling out and the drying out is is done. You know, I'm just just sitting trying to relax. Keep your feet up. It's really important. Like you see some of these guys, and you, I, I can spot a newer bodybuilder from a mile away. They're fucking pacing, walking around. You should be you know sitting down with your feet up, your legs up. When you're pumping up backstage. You want to pump up your upper body, but what you don't want, you don't want to blood flow to your legs. Because upper body, you still have some pretty good detail while you have a pump. Lower body, you get a leg pump. As anybody knows, lines are gone. There's nothing there. So we want to keep that away as much as possible. And when you're this depleted and you're this lean, any kind of blood flow or anything like that, those lines, it's very easy to tell when they're gone. You know, the details are so minimal. So you're going to do everything you can to keep as much detail. Obviously, there's no growing. There's nothing done here. Right, there's nothing that's going to happen. The only thing you're going to do is we want to see as much detail and, and, and let as much water go. So standing there with your legs or sitting there with your legs up and your feet up, trying to, I, even when I'm sleeping, when I sleep, I sleep with, my, with a pillow underneath my legs and it's elevated about six inches just while I sleep, trying to drain the blood as much as possible. And it really helps. I'll wake up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. My legs look better every time just because of how much they're elevated. So. Little tricks. Yeah, it's a li li little tricks go a long way. <laughs> you know, we got the Better Bodies Classic, so uh, great, uh, great uh, weekend for uh, for our uh, you know Texas crowd here, and uh, having uh, you know see all the people from destination and all around, uh, you know, supporting the show and uh, everything. It feels great, so can't wait to to blow this up and make it uh, huge. You know, uh, 
like next year we're gonna put a lot of stuff in conjunction with this perfect in the spring in April to, to do some uh, uh, some homecoming uh, type of activities where we bring people from all around the world here so stay tuned for that you just want to party huh so we just want to be giving people uh, about their give back feeling you know like uh, you know barbecues and uh, you know parties and um, you know have fun in and out of the gym you know not parties but uh, you know what I mean get together get, get, the, have, get yeah. together yeah, yeah. You know, I like it you know bring people together so they so they get to know each other and uh, can build uh, you know bigger and bigger circles of like-minded people that are diverse but like-minded and uh, stick together and uh, support each other <laughs> So what's up? You you've been knowing Blake since played pee wee football with him, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So one of them is probably my best friend. Yeah. And got to see him from his first bodybuilding show when uh, I was actually we were in high school and he was eating meals in between classes and stuff. And uh, I remember having my shitty 2000 Honda Accord driving him around as a chauffeur, and he would start to pass out of dehydration, trying to make sure he didn't bump his head. So, yeah, <laughs> That's cool. I try, try to be there as much as I can. But uh, what do you think about all that crazy bodybuilding stuff? <sighs> I've never done it because uh, it seems like it takes too much effort. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm, it's very admirable to see somebody like Blake go through as many years as he's been, get so close to victory uh, and pro cards and all that, and still have this much determination. So it's, uh, it's admirable. So. Well said, awesome, man. Mom, do you know how much I ate before I went on stage? I'm not hungry. What did you eat? All the cupcakes. All before you went on stage? Yeah. That's what it was. That's what it was. She said you look watery. <laughs> I already spilled over. I came back state. I came back here and I drank like about that I much of my it. mango. About that much of my mango juice, and within 30 seconds, I spilled. I started to spill over. How do you feel that? I, I could see it in my stomach. Oh, you just like a started film? getting washed out. There's a film over. I like I can't I can't I can't feel it, but I can look down and start to see that like it's starting to disappear. And that's what I mean when I tell people like I can you can screw your whole prep up in a matter of 30 minutes before the stage, right? Cause like, you just, you're just not as tight. I'm still, I mean, you're not gaining body fat, right? But water, like we talked about water that's in between the muscle and water over the muscle between the, that's exactly what was happening. It was, I was spilling hard. I could, it's not bad, but when I wake up in the morning, I probably won't have abs and I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, you took care of business that you qualified yeah. now it's just uh, eight months of uh, growing and it's not gonna be quite eight months because it's, it's about eight months until nationals so I'm not gonna stay in the shape obviously when you're trying to gain muscle I'm gonna have to eat more I'm gonna have to up my calories because when I was when I was getting the last couple weeks I was getting close to around 1700 calories a day um, that's huge that's about an off-season meal for me um, so it was pretty low, so I'm gonna. I'll probably have about. It'll probably be about a five month off season. I'm looking. To, I'm looking. My goal is the two pounds of stage weight. So five month off season, and then we'll cut down for about three months. And I want my condition. He's just a tad bit sharper, um, just a little bit. I mean, I was very, very um, happy with my conditioning, um, my dryness, how dry I was, and how full I was on stage this time. Um, it's like like we said before, it's very hard to nail both. Right? It's extremely tough. And I've, I've never done both. And this is the closest I've, it's hard to say if you're ever 100%, right? It's almost impossible. This is definitely the closest I've ever been. Um, but for nationals, I want to nail the same fullness, maybe a little bit, a little bit drier. Um, and then, like I said, another about two pounds, pounds of stage weight. Because honestly, if I have any more than two pounds of stage weight, I'm not going to make the class. I barely made the class this time. So I'm going to have to be a little bit leaner or else I'm, I'm going to be a super. So it is what it is if that's what it comes to. I'd rather not be, um, the absolute bottom of the supers, but you know, whatever happens, happens, you know. <laughs>
So. Action. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, just wrapping up the Better Motors Classic here. Uh, great show, great competitors, and uh, you know, uh, full of excitement actually because we have a packed house, a Jiu Jitsu, a strong man, uh, you know, all the vendors and everything was kind of like, it uh, was really good. But next year we're going to ramp it up even more and the whole give back uh, philosophy is going to be poured over all these athletes uh, that are coming and competing. So, uh, you know, they haven't seen uh, nothing yet what we're going to bring to them. So I'm uh, really looking forward to next year and start planning already tomorrow about uh, next year and everything that we want to do. So, good stuff.